Boy, has downtown Pensacola changed over the past 10 years. Where the Maritime Park now is, this used to be woods just a few years ago, and it seems like a new building is going up all the time. And on Palafox, almost every business down here has opened up within the past 10 years. Downtown Pensacola is definitely the place to be. It is like a completely different, different, different city downtown um, and, and in a positive way. I mean, there's so many more businesses, so many more people, so many more residents downtown. Um, and it is, it's going to it's going to uh, cause a little different, different um, response now that we again, the, the flood showed that that we have to get out there and get uh, to where the people are. So much of downtown has changed and all those improvements that we just mentioned have prompted new businesses, new restaurants, new retailers, new offices coming to the downtown area. So it's really been a renaissance in Pensacola. In order to understand the future, you have to know the past. Remember old Stinky? Just about everyone you ask says the revitalization of downtown Pensacola could not have happened without moving the ECUA sewage plant. The big change, of course, was the wastewater treatment plant, which during Hurricane Ivan almost overflowed into the entire downtown area. And if that had happened, it would have destroyed commerce for who knows how long. But it's now gone. The sewage plant was moved in 2010, and that's when we started seeing major change. Plaza de Luna was built after the old marina and the Bayfront Auditorium was washed away. Now there's a luxury marina, restaurants, offices, and retail space. The Maritime Park was a dream that many thought would never happen. But after a lot of political wrangling, the dream came true. We got a double-A baseball team. The wheels of change kept turning. It was crickets downtown, and that's pretty close to Akron. It was, uh, downtown's really, really uh, done well over the last 10 years. The real estate market is drastically different. Greg Beck, CEO of Beck Property Company, says apart from the beach, Real estate prices in downtown are now the highest in the county, and there are plans in the works to develop another 600 to 700 apartments downtown in the next few years. We're betting the farm on downtown right now. We, we're, we've got a uh, high optimism for downtown. It's, it's doing great. Need more retail businesses, and that's uh, not just restaurants and, and bars, but uh, true retail, and, and everybody's focused on that. Ten years ago, there were just a few shops on Palafox. It's now exploding with bars and restaurants. Gallery nights are a monthly event that attract 15,000 people downtown. With more people and businesses, the police department has grown, and they've changed their disaster response. Ivan identified weaknesses that they've been able to address. We now have two generators at the department. We have complete fixed, we hope, uh, the water, the water pump situation. Um, you know, we, we have a better understanding of where we need to allocate our resources with regards to, um, you know, both pre pre storm, uh, during the storm, and then and then after the storm, how we can get back up to get back up, back up uh, from a communication standpoint. And there are more changes to come. One plan is to take the old Pensacola News Journal property and turn it into a YMCA. There are also talks of building an apartment complex here, as well as bringing in some stores. So who knows what changes we'll see in the next 10 years. Reporting from downtown Pensacola, Christina Leavenworth, Channel 3 News.